sharp strikes of lightning and twisted columns of air are all weather calling cause of spring storms. Frank Saxon knows this well. As a commercial airline pilot, he has a bird's eye view from over 30,000 feet in the air. The big thunderheads that we could see for several hundred miles off uh, as we make uh, our flight maybe approaching a front or approaching uh, some thunderstorms will tell us that we're probably going to get some pretty rough rides. So why is our atmosphere so rubbed up this time of the year? There are three primary reasons. The polar jet stream is one. During the winter, it dips well south and retreats back to the north during the spring and summer. Fast moving air reaching speeds of over 100 miles an hour is a transport for developing storms moving over the country. The second is temperature. Cold frontal boundaries that collide with warmer moist air are catalysts for twisting low pressure centers that produce violent thunderstorms. And third, the sun's angle. During the spring, more direct solar radiation provides heat energy in the atmosphere. That energy fuels convection and intensifies storms. The result, turbulent and stormy weather. The, the biggest factor that we run into this time of year is turbulence. Um, most of that is due to the jet stream and depending on the route that the jet stream takes, whether there's a dip in it or whether it's more zonal, uh, we can have uh, quite an influence in the type of ride that we get. And the ride above can dictate the severity of storms below at the surface. In Blue Ash, 9 first morning meteorologist Sherry 